Hey guys, Spencer with Z1. Today we're going behind the design with the Z1 Road Race Kit version 2.0 featuring our new heavy duty CSC by Tilton and Z1. All right guys, let's dive right in. Road Race 2.0 kit took um, everything we loved about the version one kit and just revised it to try and make it a little easier on our installers and our drivers. Uh, while also <clears throat> making uh, improvements to the parts and the performance. How do we get there? Let's just follow it like the power flows from engine towards the trans and we'll get there. So uh, in the kit, we feature a Z1 flywheel. These are 4140 chromoly forged flywheels. So they're pressed into shape, heat treated, they get a gas nitride coating, and then final machined. They are the toughest industry, like toughest flywheels you're gonna find in the industry. Nicest flywheels. You will not beat this flywheel with anything that's on the market ready to go off the shelf, hands down. Uh, so you can trust this to outlast your car. Um, on our flywheels, aside from being a solid piece, it's worth noting, it, I mean solid piece, even tone rings are solid piece. We don't bolt on a cheaper cut out piece of steel <coughs> that could come loose uh, in place there. It's part of the forging this machine. Um, moving down the line next, we feature solid hub discs that uh, are very popular here. Drivability uh, on these is like still really great. They use a Marcel spring, so the disc is cushioned, that means as you're going through that transient stop to go uh, situation, the feel of the bite point and that friction zone is progressive, very factory-like. The transfer of torque's a bit more direct, so it's not an on-off switch by any means. You can sit these in daily day traffic, um, but at the racetrack when you are commanding power or maybe like decel to get the car to articulate how you want, um, it's, it's gonna be a more direct and precise instrument per se in transferring power to the tires. So um, one of our favorite things, the, the other huge part about going to a solid disc is they are a lot lighter. Uh, even in the largest size, we're saving about 15% over a sprung hub disc from the factory. And in our smaller, more compact size, you're saving about 20%. What that means uh, for you is that you've got mass, just like uh, you know, a vehicle traveling down the road. And when you, when you leave that vehicle at 7,200 RPMs, or disc will say spinning, it's got momentum. You're calling for a gear change, which means you're, you're pulling that shift selector and it's putting pressure on a synchronizer. Inside the trans, you've got all your gears spinning there together. They're all in mesh all the time, but they're not locked onto the shaft. You gotta get that gear speed and the shaft speed to match so you can lock that next gear and get that gear change done and onto the next. When the disc is lighter, <clears throat> two things happen. One, synchro, which is acting like a brake, can do its job better. You're gonna be quicker to get it slowed down and match speeds. You're gonna be less likely to get on gears and synchro is gonna last longer. So that plays into your benefit. Faster gear changes, more direct, easier on the parts, means it lasts longer. Uh, and it, it's a fun experience, right? Not grinding gears and being quick like you're a pro. Cause you are. Then we got our pressure plate. This was like a major change in the kit. So we were able to drop our stack height compared to the previous rivet style. Uh, we went with a co conventional flat uh, profile, which we accommodate with our bearing. And we reduced the load to get released. So we're still sitting at clamp uh, very high, easily holds 600 horsepower. We've seen it in many cars here. Um, but the release load isn't that high because you have more leverage working across the crimp, the crimp cover. That's just where the pivot point is. Now, our release travel accommodated by all hydraulics, all metal housing on the Tilton CSC. Uh, this is a really nice piece. It features an improved mono seal, um, which is same principle as like what you may see on some of the any of the other hydraulic CSCs, except for the fact that it's much more robust. They're using an F SKF seal, which is top of the industry uh, in that space. And when you compare them side by side, by feel here, even we can tell. On top of that, where OE or some aftermarket parts are using plastic um, bodies, uh, essentially to control this hydraulic pressure and get work done, we are not. We're using all metal parts, which means at the loads these are seeing, no distortions, <laughs> nothing's getting out of the place where you could start to maybe find a leak sooner than later. Uh, so very robust, it's lightweight, matched up for our kit. So we offer this available online <clears throat> as the full kit. If you're looking to get the slave separate, we do offer it, but you'll have to contact one of our reps to make sure they've been matched up with a kit that works. If you have a kit that's too short, um, then you could reach a limit and run into a problem operating. Your clutch, we don't want that. <clears throat> so. Um, kit further includes fluid, high temp insulated SS lines, comes with its own bleeder, and uh, even
get in the nice cover plate that locates all this stuff for you right there on the side of the trans. Get alignment tools always, and a pilot bushing. So, C1 Road Race Kit 2.0. Ready to rock, guys.